Hello, my name is Jean. I am a knitter. I'm on YouTube today to talk to you about knitting. And if you like knitting, you might want to subscribe and follow and hit the like button if I'm talking about something that's interesting. I finished my shawl. This is a Stephen West Starflake that I changed the final rows on to make it a little bit larger because my goal was to use up as much of the four skeins of yarn that I had purchased as possible. This, this is my leftover yarn. I threw it on my kitchen scale. It's 25 grams. That's out of four skeins of 100 grams each. So I think I did pretty well getting it down to just this little bit. And then I have added, as you can see, my beaded border, which I love because it swings and it flings and the shawl has drape and movement and the colors actually are a pretty good match. I think it looks good. But I'm going to say something. <clears throat> I wanted to weigh down the I-cord bind off because I wanted the shawl not to curl. I knew I would be adding weight I knew also that if I skimped on the beads, it would look skimpy, cheap, weird, just not right. Um, so I used a card, I used a three by five card that I cut in half, so it was two and a half inches. And I just held it up as I was stringing random beads on to make sure that each one of the strands was pretty close to two and a half inches. That's how I got it consistent. Easy. <clears throat> Sometimes I put too many beads on and have to take them off, but more often than not, I was maybe one or two beads short and I just added one, maybe two, because a little less than two and a half was great, much longer than two and a half and it would look funky. But if I went way too short, oh goodness, that would be a disaster. So I was just trying to match it, sort of. Um, <clears throat> however, beads are truly heavy. I have not been able to weigh this on a kitchen scale because it is just a little large and my kitchen scale is one of those little teeny tiny ones. So I jumped on the bathroom scale with and without the shawl and it weighs about a pound and a half in total. That's a lot. Beads are heavy. Um, <clears throat> this is a Malabrigo Makita. It is a superwash. I used an over-dyed silk for the majority of my beaded strands and they are short enough that even if I were to hand wash this, because this is not a machine washable thing at this point, not with these beads on it, um, I would not have too much of a problem actually managing it through the hand wash process. Because of the lacy open holes, and the odds, the, the possibility of beads going through the holes and getting tangled. No, this is not a machine washable object anymore. Ask me if I care. <laughs> I think not. But, oh goodness, it makes me happy. Um, it took a little under a week of knitting, working, hobby time to put all of the beads on. I went to a big box store and got 
uh, pre-strung bundles of beads in two different colors that I held up and looked at. And they were a mix of beads, obviously. And got a set of bluish and a set of pinkish. And <sighs> no, they weren't enough. I ended up going back and getting a second set, thank goodness, for 50% off sales. I have taken pictures of this, but I took pictures of this up against our carpet, which is a blah kind of carpet, but it has a lot of texture and some speckles of color. The beads don't stand out very well. It's kind of a crummy picture. I need to photograph this against a solid background. Am I okay with that? Yeah, because sometimes you just really want to show off when something turned out really well. And yes, I can show this off because it did turn out really well. And I have discovered something. My husband is a fan of Stephen West designs. The two shawls that I have made that are Stephen West designs are the two shawls that I have made that he likes best. Am I going to do this year's hybrid knit along? Uh, probably not, because it would require that I purchase more skeins of yarn, probably to mix in with the mystery knit along yarn that I got that I am never going to use for the mystery knit along because that is not my style of shawl. It just doesn't work for me. There are parts of that design that I absolutely adore, but no, I, that shawl as a whole is not me. But the budget is tight right now because we are packing up to move and I couldn't stand my retail job with the noisy, noisy, noisy background music that could not be controlled by a human. Nobody who worked in the store could control how loud the background music was and I could not walk from the front door to the back of the store to punch in without my ears hurting. And when you work retail, you can't wear ear protection, can you? You have to be able to hear things but I couldn't, could not deal with it. So we're honest. Um, what's my next project? <coughs> I want to continue getting through my stash, even though I keep finding more things in my stash. But I really wanted to do this really neat traveling cable hat that I had found and I had yarn that I had gotten for the TKGA samples in a color that would be visible for the judges, evaluators to clearly see my stitches. And I realized this is not a color that I nor any person in my family would regularly wear. I have almost three full skeins of it. I have two skeins that I haven't even opened and wound, and I have this, which is a comfortable, oh, I don't want to think about how many yards. So, I really like this traveling cable hat, um, but I am going to need to do several things. This is my gauge swatch. Um, and I am way, way, way too big. This is much more densely knit. I don't know how they photographed it and got it to look so puffy, but this is not the right gauge. I'm going to have to go down in needle size, probably at least a full millimeter. Um, these are my Chalgu larger size shorties and they wanted me to use a 20 inch, but I'm only doing two pattern repeats, not three pattern repeats, because why start knitting the hat if you haven't got gauge? And it was a good choice. I have enough knit that I know, oh, this is way too big. I'm like 
five inches when I should be, I'm more like five and a half when I should be three and a half. Oops, way too big. Definitely go down a millimeter. Um, I may start the whole thing over again. This is a four millimeter needle. I may just start it over on a three millimeter needle and declare it good enough and close enough because what I'm going to do when I am done with my hat or all of the hats and the mittens and what scarves and whatever I decide to make out of this is I live in Wisconsin. There are millions of charities screaming for warm hats to give away to people who need hats. And while I personally cannot stand wearing the color yellow, I know there are a whole lot of people who absolutely adore the color yellow and they are more than welcome to wear and enjoy a yellow hat that I have knit and given away to charity. Am I going to feel bad about it? Well, no, because number one, it's a hat. They take, I don't know, a couple evenings, maybe? Ah, they're portable. Uh, this is a pattern I will probably easily memorize quite quickly. I love traveling cables. And um, life is good. Now, I'm also going to say one more thing. The pattern was written in rows. Row one, purl one, knit three, purl two, knit three, repeat four times, blah, blah, blah. My brain doesn't work like that, and I kept getting lost in the pattern. So, I don't know if it'll come through because I did have to photocopy it, but I charted it so I could, there, no, this one, there it is. Pencil. So I could erase my mistakes and then I photocopied it so that it wouldn't smear. And that's what I'm using. Um, it's gonna work. I can read a chart and I won't get lost on a chart the way I can get lost in written words because they don't turn into what the knitting actually looks like. And charts, especially cable charts, look exactly like what the knitting is supposed to look like. Dot for purl, blank for knit, and then you just draw your diagonal lines to let you know which way you cable. And more often than not, you're doing a front crossing cable. Your first stitches go onto the cable needle, are held in front. Then you knit the stitches that are next, and then you knit the stitches off the cable needle. It's a front crossing cable. It's the easiest one to do, I think. Um, and because it is three stitches and one stitch for the travel, because sometimes they just move a little bit, and three over three for the non-standard, and those are always right cross, front cross, right, the right side goes over the left, it's a pretty easy pattern. So I'll have it memorized in no time flat. We'll see how many hats I can knit and if going down by one full millimeter to a three millimeter needle is gonna get me to gauge. But I love my star flake. I will photograph it a little bit better. Subscribe, follow me, give me a like if you like it. I love this shawl. It's also very soft and because of the way I wrap it, it's really, really warm. Um, it's not been that cold here, but it's nice to have something you know you can fling on and be cozy, cuddly, warm. So, enjoy your life and keep knitting.